welcome back. Um, I haven't filmed in a couple of weeks. I've um, just been a little bit sick, lost my voice. As you can probably tell, it's just coming back, so I thought I'd film this while I have it. Um, I've just got my little man down here eating a strawberry, so you're probably going to hear him throughout the video, but oh well. It's the only time I had, so we'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so I just thought I'd, I really wanted to film um, all the new products I have and show you my latest um, purchases and if they're worth the hype and if I love them or if not. Um, so let's just get straight into it. So first um, I want to talk about my MAC New Strobe Cream. This is $55, or about $55. Um, I got the colour Peach Light. I think there's a few. There's Red Light, Peach Light, Silver Light gold light. Um, I just thought this was close to my skin tone and I'm yeah just as an all over base. Sometimes I use it on its own. I um, really like it. So um, I love the other strobe creams anyway but really like this and I think I will use it all. It's a shame that I don't come in the little sample sizes. You know they're about $12 or $15 for the sample sizes because um, I would like to try the others but I'll get through this first and then I'll try the others. Just so easily. What is it? get sucked in to any highlight, dewy, skin, glowy product. Just love it all. So that is definitely a really good purchase. Love it and I'm glad I did. You okay down there? Okay. Um, next I want to talk about my new Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Palette. This is so good. Oh my goodness me, it is so expensive. Mm. I know, I know. Mm. So expensive, um, $120. Taxi, mm. it's okay. Mummy's filming, it's okay. Mm. He's got that strawberry mm. absolutely everywhere, all over him. Mm. Mm. Baba. Mm. Baba. Mm. Anything to keep him happy, the amount of shit I do. Okay, so um, Shade and Illuminate Palette Intensity 1. gave him a little cross get so that should keep him entertained for what a whole of four five minutes okay so shade and illuminate palette it is so gorgeous guys I know it's expensive so you'd want to hope it would be amazing um, but I, it's sort of turned into my everyday product because I can't go past it anyway I don't <coughs> I'm gonna lose my voice <coughs> again I really want to keep this clean and treat it with respect <laughs> So the Illuminate is gorgeous, so, so nice. It's like dewy, wet on the skin. There's no shimmer, uh, it just looks glossy and gorgeous. Like there's no color, uh, which I love. Um, and then like I find some powder highlights really make my pores stand out. So I like how this is, here I'll put it on. I like how this is just dewy, wet. I don't know how else to describe. It's just so beautiful on the skin it's not sticky it just sort of glides on it really blends nice oh and wait till you get to the bronzer oh, blends like a dream do you see no it's so nice and then I've got the contour I've got both of them on now so the contour I put on either with my finger or a brush and then I just blend it in in circular motions where the sun would hit on my forehead a bit over my nose and then sort of contouring a little bit um, but it is gorgeous love 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 it good perchy okay third I want to talk oops have you finished that here have another one have another one good boy third I want to talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I got sucked into this. There was so much hype about it. I just, I can't, I actually don't know yet. I've, I've used it a handful of times. It's nice, but worth over $100. I don't know. I can't tell you. Like, I, I do go back for it when I'm going outside. I know it's got SPF in it. 
It's moisturizing. It is, but they talk about it gives you this glow. And I just don't know if it does. That's just my opinion, like on my skin. So everyone is obviously different, but I've used that much of it. I think it will last a while, but it is a luxurious product. I just don't know if it's worth $100. So I'm a little bit undecided on this one. I use it though, and I, I will use it all, but hydra, yeah. Instant turnaround moisturizer, dermatologically tested. It's got that consistency, it's really thick. It is moisturizing. Um, it just looks like one of my mum's old creams from back in the day, or my nan's, you know, when it, like the little container or the little jar that it's in. It just looks a bit old school and cute. I do like that. Oh God, it looks nice on my desk. So if I don't use it, I'll be taking a lot of photos of it, let me tell you. Okay, let's go next. Whey products. I bought these, I bought all of this. Um, I, I really like the Wave Spray, really, really love. I, oh, Jaxie, here, Papa. Hey, Bobby. He's just smashing those cruskets like no one's business. Good boy. Okay, so Wave Spray, love. I put this in when my hair is damp and um, it sort of makes it feel thicker almost. I don't know, it's really strange. You can also put it in dry. And have you seen that video of Jen? She, so Jen's got this video on her Way YouTube channel, but she sprays the dry hair with this and puts little clips in to make that way. So she puts clip, clip, clip all over, and then she um, sprays, gets the hair drier, and then when she takes it out, it's just got this really cool way. Love that. And then of course, the matte pomade. I love it as well. So it looks like this. I really like the way everything smells. I just use the tiniest little bit because my hair's thin. But it just makes that lived in look. Just grab my hair like that. Just creates that lived in textured look rather than fluffy. And see how it just holds it? I really like that. But your hands get a bit, you need to wash your hands after. Oh my God, smashing those cruskets. So really, really love the way products. Baba! Oh my goodness! Oh. Look, look at him. These are the things that we have to deal with, hey? Hey, Baba? No, don't touch that. Oh God. Goodness me. This is hard work. Got another biscuit? Another crusket? He's got strawberry all over his top. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, here. Here, puppy. Boy. Okay, I need to get this done quick. So I really like the way products. Love all of them. I've got the finishing cream. I really want to try the hair oil too. Um, but I just have so much shit. Yeah, I don't really need it, to be honest. Okay, next is... Oh, where is it? The Burberry... Hang on. Got it. So this is the Burberry contour pen. Um, where did I even see this? I saw this girl on YouTube try this. I think it was. And then I found it on Netta Porter and just bought it off the cuff on a whim. And I love it. But I don't use it for around... <coughs> Bobby. Oh. I don't use it for anywhere else but my nose. So I just draw lines on the sides of my nose and then rub it in with my finger. It blends amazing. It is beautiful, it's a beautiful product. I can't remember the price of it, $40. Anyway, it's on Netta Porter, it's Burberry contour pen. What color, number one. So it's really good for my nose contour. It's super quick and easy and that's what I like. Next is, um, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I got this from Mecca, oh, a few, I'd have to say six months ago, maybe a little less. I've used it twice. I don't know whether I tried it on a wrong day, whether I didn't like my skin and it just looks shit. I don't know. I, I just, I really can't go past MAC face and body. Um, so I just, nothing's beating it and I can't find anything that's better than that. Baba! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> Nothing. 
Sorry if I can see my son. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. Okay. Oh, can't get anything done. I will have to finish this off. Hang five. <laughs> talk about where was I up to? Oh, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I heard a lot about this and I just don't know if it lives up to its name. Hmm. I really like my favourite foundation is MAC Face and Body. So it's really hard to get another product that I that lives up to that standards really. I feel like it was just too thick and cakey. I just really don't like a lot of makeup, so maybe that's why it didn't win me over. But anyway, I have a full one here if anyone wants it, because I don't know if I'll use it. Um, next. Oh, I've got my Smiley Miley thing here. I don't know if that's a bit of a gimmick. This was sent to me. But I don't know if this part works. I really don't. And I probably haven't used it enough to tell you. But I have used the gel that it comes with. And that's great. So it comes with a little mouth guard that you mould in. And then the gel. And I use that. And that's been amazing. But I just don't know if this works. What's this light meant to do? I know it's the UV. I don't know. I just. That's a bit gimmicky, isn't it? But the actual gel is really good. I really like it. So I've been using that. And I love it. Um, next to. Oh, I put this aside. This is the Napoleon Purtis Total Bay Lip and Cheek Tint. So it's a gel, like a little gel. It's real, it's weird. It goes on soft, soft. It goes on pinky, mar like, yeah, I don't mind it. It's more like a stain. You don't want to put too much on because it goes all like you look like you're bright red. It's quite nice. Yeah, it's more like a stain, like it stains your cheeks. You can use this on your lips as well, but I probably wouldn't. So that is the Napoleon Lip and Cheek Tint. Use it. Give a sexy hint with a splash of tint. Interesting. Replicate, replicate the cheeky glow of a first kiss with Use It. Lip and cheek tint, enriched with aloe vera, silky smooth oil free gel cream formula provides a soothing and streak free finish for a subtle yet radiant rose tinted glow. That's what it gives you, yeah, I'd say that. Okay, next on my list is the Vanity Bronzing uh, Glaze Tinted Self Tan Gel. So I've tried a lot of fake tans and on my face I'm really quite sensitive and this gives such a nice glow. Like I wake up in the morning, I put it on before I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning and I just feel bronze like I've been to Bali for a week. It really works. I haven't, I've used it a lot and I've still got heaps left. Even though it's a tiny little tube, a little goes a long way. Next is my new brow pencils. Now, I am a Laura Mercier girl. I've loved Laura Mercier for years. I've used her blonde brow pencil for so long. I think she changed the consistency recently. I don't know, it's a bit, a little bit waxy, something's, I don't know, I still used it, but something wasn't right. Then, um, Misha Wright Studios in Kent Town, that's where I've been getting my brows done for years and I work there, um, they got new brow pencils. So. These ones I love. How can you be so obsessed with a brow pencil? I don't know, but it just makes my life easy and I just pop on my brows so super quick now. So it's called the Eye, one of them, there's two. So the first one is the really skinny thin one. It's called the Eye of Aurus. On one end, it's got the spoolie. I brush my hairs up. And on the other side is the tiny little, look how tiny it is. It just, use my Tom Ford mirror. It gets in the tiny little crevices where you, because I've had a little bit of fallout in my pregnancy. So I just use the lightest hand and do little light strokes and they look like hairs and you just fill in the gaps. It's so there, it's really good. Second one is, oh, also I have Aurus, sorry. I've got a little clear brow gel on the end, which I haven't really used yet. And then, so this one's like a thicker, it goes thick to thin. So this one's good for, I find, the front. 
you can draw little hair strokes. So I go up, up. See how I feel? I'm a little bit sparse in here. I might go up, up and just fill in and just dab it. Seriously, love, love them. So that's really cool. It goes on thicker. It's just because I've been using this one a lot more, the thin one. So it, um, it's so precise in exactly the way you want it. I love it. Okay, lastly, the Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. It's Intensive Moisturising Hand Treatment. So I have um, the 8-Hour Cream that I put on my lips that I've always had, and I like that. But this hand cream, I forgot I had it. I think I got it in a pack or in a, a gift pack. And I only recently started using it for the last week and a half. I can't stop putting it on. It leaves, it's still got that 8-Hour Cream smell, like everything. Oh, she's got a new face mist out. It's a facial spray. Oh, I really want to try that. Um, but this is so nice and smooth. It just makes your hands feel really supple and beautiful after. It's not greasy. It sort of dries immediately. Um, can't think of anything to say. I just love it. I keep it in my handbag and really like it. Lastly, Peony Stila Convertible Blush. Cannot go past this. Oh, my God, I love it. It's like, it reminds me of, MAC had Lilicent Cream Blush and they discontinued it, which I was a devo about. And I feel like this is a dupe for that. Like it's really similar color. Uh, it's called Peony. I've got it on now. Dab it between my fingers because a little bit goes a long way. So you just use the tiniest, otherwise you just put on too much really. It's just a gorgeous brownie blush pink. I just love the colour. You can use these on your lips as well. Really like them. So you can tell I'm a bit of a fan of the Stila Convertible. I've got every colour. But I didn't... Oh, I think that's every colour. I might be missing one. Hmm. It's a story on Camellia. I went to get in... I went... I ran out of Peony, so I went into Mecca to get it. And I came home with this, so I think the girl gave me the wrong one. But I really like it. It's really good with the... It's just definitely more brown tone. It's very similar. Like, look at the difference. You probably won't even be able to tell. Camellia. Peony. So, very similar. Really good just for a, when you want the bronze look and not so much pinky flush on the cheeks. And with the, maybe with a red lip, that'll look really good. Um, then these are really nice on the lips too. I don't really use it as much on the lips because um, it is a little bit drying. I've got really chapped, dry lips. That's come off, so I've had this for a little while and the, the back's come off, I don't know what that's called. So this is fuchsia I think, this has come off as well, but look at this colour. You'd think that is crazy, but you just use the tiniest amount on a stippling brush and just pop it on and it gives it such a awakening feel, like you look awake and fresh, really like it. And then this one is Gerbera. That's nice too. And that would be, should I try it on the lips? Look how much comes off. Oh my gosh, I haven't tried this on my lips, this, this colour. I'm sure it would be drying, but MAC Myth is drying. And I love it. Look at it. That's such a nice colour. It's like MAC. I'm going to see how long this stays on for. I need a thing. Really like that. Cool. Like it. I wonder what that would look like on the lips. Hmm. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed. Um, these are just my newest products and wanted to give you my feedback on each of them. Anyway, until next time.